we're going to describe the silkscreen process of Sefateras and Megillas um, and show details on how the ink goes from the screen onto the cloth. This orange sheet is a sample piece of silkscreen material before any preparation. The silkscreen sheet has tens of thousands of tiny holes that allow ink to be pushed through to the cloth underneath. We close up all the holes that we don't want ink to go through with a green colored film except in the area of the letters. Those holes that represent the letters are left open to allow the ink to be placed in the screen and then pushed through onto the cloth. The film that blocks the holes of the screen is applied on top and underneath the screen. The films create a holding area for the ink letters to sit and remain until the letters are pushed onto the parchment. Silk screen is then secured onto a frame, which is then mounted onto the silk screen table. What you see now is a flexible plastic blade that acts like a large coolness and writes many letters at once. I will now show how the blade is used to push the ink onto the cloth, similar to the tip of a coolness pushing ink. Our blade just does many letters at once instead of one at a time. The ink that we use is a, is a slightly thicker ink and we apply the ink first onto the left side of the screen. Now the ink is placed onto the screen and remains inside the silk screen until manually pushed onto the cloth. We place the ink to the left side of the screen we then push the ink across the screen while the silk screen frame is raised above the cloth. You will notice that no ink has dripped or poured through the screen onto the cloth. Even when I pass my hand close under the screen, no ink drips on my hand. Before I actually silk screen the cloth, I will first show how the letters on the screen already have the completed letters formed inside the screen. When I press my fingers under the silk screen, you will see the ink letters that were suspended in the screen become written onto my fingers. Looking at the view under the actual screen, you see that the ink is no longer there where my fingers touch the screen. Now I will demonstrate the complete silk screen process from first making the sirtid on the cloth till the writing and drying of the ink. First, we make the sirtid on the cloth. Secondly, we put the cloth under the silkscreen frame on the table. Third, the ink is pushed into the letters on the screen. At this point, the ink is suspended in the silkscreen letters, never dripping down until they are pushed by me onto the cloth. Fourth, we place the frame on the table with the screen raised about one quarter inch above the cloth. Again, see that no ink drips or pours through the cloth, even though the screen is very close to the cloth. Before the ink is written onto the cloth and we are writing a Sefer Torah, we say the Shem Kedusha Sefer Torah and the Azkaris the Shem Kedusha Hashem. Then the blade is pushed across the screen forcing all the ink letters onto the Sirtut Ready cloth. Now we have perfectly written Ksav on the cloth that we just transferred from the screen. We will now dry the ink on our dryer. Observe how the ink on the urea is completely dry with a perfect sob. See how the cloth has sirtut on top of all the letters. Take a look how no more ink remains in the letters of the silk screen. This shows how the ink only moves out of the screen when forced out and will never drip out on its own. 
This completes the demonstration of the silkscreen process.